Hey guys, how's it going? This is Classy Taurus Tutorials. Uh, in this episode, I'm just going to show you guys how to make a street photography black and white themed photo. It's going to be really simple, um, and I'm just going to give a quick step by step. So, very first step we're going to do is we're going to take background and we're going to just copy it, okay? And simply by taking the background and we're just dragging it to the new layer button right there. And we just do that just so in case we mess anything up, we can always revert back to the original. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Filter, and I'm going to go Camera Raw Filter. Real simple. Um, we can take out the toning curves, and we can do the levels and all that, but in all honesty, for what we want to do, we just want to get this done quickly, we're just going to go straight to Camera Raw. Now it's going to give us exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, clarity, vibrance. Should have saturation down here, right there. But to be honest, we're just going to mess with two of these right now. So we're going to do contrast. We're upping that up. And then we're also going to up the clarity. All right. And I just want to make the image pop just a little bit more. So, okay, perfect. That, I like that. So now we're going to uh, actually, we're going to go to the curves uh, adjustment layer here click on that and we're just gonna make the contrast just a little bit more and we have a little bit more control and curves we'll up this just a little bit and it's a slight wave not too much but it really does help us out a little bit there um, I really like that it really makes the image pop just a little bit more so next thing we're gonna do is we are going to make this a black and white image and again we go to our adjustment layer click on black and white and we have uh, this window pop out and now the thing about this window is you can really uh, just adjust the reds yellows greens, cyan's blues magentas as well but I kinda already have an idea of what I want this to be so we're gonna just put it reds at a seven in fact, let's actually put that even lower. Let's go negative 6. Put the yellows somewhere maybe high 20s. Let's say 29. Green, we're going to put that, I'm hoping, in the negatives. Good. Now, you might not see what this does, but always go to the extremes and you'll be able to see it is going to affect the ground a little bit. And that's what I'm really looking at. I want to make the ground just slightly darker, but nothing too overboard. Now we're going to go to the cyans. We're going to drop this down. Uh, I like to put this down further, but as you can see, it's messing with her ribbon a little too much. So I might keep that in the 40s just so we don't add too much noise. Next, we got our blues. Usually I put this in the negatives, but because it's a bright image and there seems to be a lot of blue, I don't think I'll be able to do too much of that. So, uh, I'll put it right around, right around 13. That sounds good. And magentas. Magenta is probably going to have the heaviest roll because of her dress. So we really have to find a good middle ground here where it's light enough and there's enough contrast. So, to be honest, 58, 60. That looks good. All right, very next thing is we can see that there's a lot of really hot spots. You can see here in her pants, her sleeves, her friend over here, uh, this veil coming down there. It's very, uh, it's a very hot white. So one way to fix that really quickly is simply just to create a new layer, just like this. Put that all the way at the top, and we're just gonna paint it black. It's about as simple as that. Now, a lot of people don't necessarily recommend this they'll actually want you to go in, create uh, a masking layer, and maybe mess with the exposure. Um, but to be honest, this is just a really fast, quick way for us to get stuff done. So that's what I'm kind of doing here, is I just want to get this done as fast as I possibly can. Because to be honest, um, especially when you're working, uh, overseas and you have you know I don't know 800 photos to get through uh, you just kinda wanna work them through so right now I'm currently 
in Argentina at a hostel, and I'm just trying to get this stuff done. So we'll do a little bit of painting here. It doesn't have to be perfect, also, uh, but you'll see in just a second. We're gonna change the blending on this, and we'll change it to a nice soft light, and bam, just like that. We don't have as hot of spots. Now, as you can see, this doesn't look too good right there. We can actually just erase that right there. We'll get rid of that because that, that went overboard too much. But it still looks a little odd, especially her pants right there, as you can see. So let's just let's change this to 30 already right then and there. Much nicer. Just like that. Quick, easy fix. And that's what I like, quick, easy fixes next thing I want to do is I actually want to make our subject pop a little more so what I was toying with was seeing if I could just put a glow in front of her um, I think that would help out a lot so what I'm, is I'm going to click on this here I'm going to pick the gradient tool click up here and I'm going to choose foreground to transparent and what I want to do is I want to actually have a nice white light so I'm going to take the center of her head uh, pull out I don't know three quarters away in the image. I'm gonna have a brilliant kind of a you know star light right in front of her. Once again we're gonna use soft light. And as you can see she really pops out, but it's a little too much. So let's try 30. 30 works out real well. I'm not even gonna change that. But I don't like how her hair is, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and erase that. Okay. Yeah, there's a little before and after. I like that. She pops out a little bit, you know. She pops out of the image a little bit more now. Now, another thing I like to do, especially with street uh, street photos, where you're really casting, you know, the uh, you know the, the perspective on the centerpiece, the person right in the center of the photo, uh, I usually like to put a nice vignette. Now, everyone kind of has their own little techniques with this, um, but. To be honest, you can again just paint it. Just take a black paintbrush and. Oops, I just realized I had my my eraser. Just but uh, choose paintbrush. So you take a black paintbrush and you just paint over the edges. And you can kind of choose where you want to put a little bit more. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. In fact, I think it looks a little bit better if it's not a perfect circle it's a little bit askew so as you can see it's not perfect circle you know it's not symmetric but it comes out a little bit more organic you know it looks more of a like it you know it's like a film camera uh, so we're going to adjust the opacity 55 that looks good all right and one more thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to blur uh, the crowd around her. So another real quick, easy way to do this is I'm just going to choose the blur tool, all right? And um, you know, pretty big brush here, and I'm just going to blur around her. Now I'm going to try and not touch her dress or you know her hair, her head. Um, I'm just going to try and go perfectly around her. You know, try is the key word because it's, you, you know, you can't be perfect with this. Especially if you're just trying to get this done in, you know, five to eight minutes. You just really want to get this image, this photo ready. So there we go. We'll do one more just so, again, she really pops. Almost looks like you're using a, uh, you know, a, like a, a, a lower F stop, you know. So I'll be honest. Um, when I travel and I do my street photography, uh, especially in other countries, I tend to bring my uh, kind of secondhand camera. So I, I'm, I shot this with a Canon 50D uh, with an off-brand lens, and it, it just makes traveling a little bit easier. It's, I get a little weirded out sometimes, a little scared carrying my, my really expensive camera equipment with me. So sometimes you really have to work in Photoshop uh, to really make the image pop. And this, we certainly got it to do that. She's definitely uh, popping a lot more. This I'll show you what we started with. The 
this was the original image. We made a background copy in which we upped the contrast and the clarity. Then we turned it into a black and white photo. We adjusted the curves. We made the hot spots die down a little bit. We then put uh, a kind of a starlight over her, a glow, and then we put a vignette around it. And just like that, uh, we're done with her image. So once again, thanks a lot for watching the tutorial. Um, feel free to subscribe and definitely put a comment if you, uh, if you like it. Thanks a lot.